I got several things to show you this week. I got build tack flex plate to try out. I've got some peel poly bed material from the same company who makes the MOA SLA printer. I've got some practical prints, some parts drawers for my nuts and bolts cabinet, and I got a practical print on the side of my bench for holding screwdrivers. I've also got some protopasta Hi5 HTPLA inspired by Joel Telling the 3D printing nerd. I'll show you all this on today's film of Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. So the first thing to show you is the flex plate from BuildTech. I want to install on my FlashForge Dreamer, so I just took the old uh, FlashForge BuildTech type material. Now that was a clone. I bought that on Amazon. It was terrible stuff. Things didn't stick to it, so it wasn't real build tag. So here's the base of the flex plate. It's got magnets in it and a sticky back. And all you do is you peel off the covering and then put it in place and just push it down once you get it in to the proper location. And I was careful trying to line this up because it seemed like it was really sticky. And then I just rubbed it to make sure it was stuck all the way across. And then here's the metal flex plate with an actual build tag material. On the back is this caution sticker telling you it's hot. And I probably should have left that on, but I peeled it off. And then I put the build tack material, the real build tack material, onto the metal plate, lined up the corners, and then just smoothed this guy all the way across so I didn't have any air bubbles. And then once I had that, it just snapped right in place onto that base because of those magnets. And that was really nice. It held really good. Now this made the bed a little thicker, but that was okay because it's going to help me when I level it because the nuts were always a little bit loose on this thing. Now I needed to just level it and the FlashForge Dreamer positions the head above each screw. So you position it and then level it and adjust it and it was ready to go. And I did my first print on it and it stuck beautifully. This has worked really well. Originally it had this black build tack material on it and I cut this in half because I'm going to use half that's good. Uh, eventually it wore out. It started splitting and peeling like this. I've had this happen once in a while on build tack and that's because I think I do a lot of ABS and get it really hot. So that was a problem, I pulled that off and I replaced it with this sheet that they gave me at Maker Faire. Kayla at BuildTag, I saw her at Maker Faire, I've seen her at several Maker Faire. She's awesome, she's just awesome. She's the one that gave me this to try out. Um, so she gave me a sheet of this and this has seemed to have held up better than the black stuff. I don't know why, I've done quite a few prints on this and it flexes really nice, pops the print off. So this flexible build plate has made my FlashForge Dreamer much more useful. I highly recommend this, especially for a FlashForge Dreamer. It really comes in handy. The only real issue I've had with this is after the bed comes down and you want to take the prints off, this is all metal. So when you touch it, you're going, ah, ah, it, you know, it's too hot to flex it. You either wear gloves or you have to wait till it cools. So that's the only drawback of it being metal, but other than that, it flexes really nice. Prints pop off easily. This is a great product. I've also been using this Peel Poly bed material that I got from Mark at Peel Poly. I was set up next to him at the Midwest Rep Rap Festival and I saw him again at Maker Faire. Just a great guy. He gave me a bunch of these to try out, but I didn't need a bunch. I got a stack I'm still haven't even used because one of these sheets has been running on my Wanho Duplicator i3 over here off camera for like three months straight and there's no ripping, no cutting, it just continues to work. I have a print that I do for my son on that machine, it runs 24-7 and this stuff has been amazing, absolutely amazing. And you can buy this pretty cheap, so if you are looking for a build material that's going to fit on your CR-10, they now have a 300 by 300 millimeter size that'll fit on your CR-10. So this is some really good stuff, I'm really impressed by it. I've only you know, used it for three months now, but I have yet to get that first sheet to fail. And it only comes in white, so if you want to get a bed material for your CR-10, check it out. And stay tuned, i got a giveaway for these coming at the end of the video. But where would a Filament Friday video be without some kind of practical or useful print? I mean, that's what the channel's been about for three years, you know? So here was another one where I had some parts drawers that were missing from my bolts and nut cabinet. And I found this on Thingiverse, a design that I had to just shrink down and resize and then take away the walls a little bit so it would slide into my cabinets. I just did all that in Tinkercad, 
and then exported it and then printed it out on my Prusa MK2S and on my FlashForge Dreamer using a cheap inland PLA black and then the High 5 Blue, which I'll talk more about. Uh, the Prusa just does a so much better job on this print, but they both came out really good, very useful. They're both usable. This is a very handy print. So if you got one of these parts cabinets, don't throw it out, print some new drawers for it. Another useful print is my screwdriver holder on the side of my bench. There's many times where I'm working on something, I got one hand tied up, I'd love to have a screwdriver to tighten something or pry it. My screwdrivers are all back here and I don't want to let go. So having a screwdriver handy here where I could tighten or pry whatever I need to do is very, very handy. And the idea that I could just find this on Thingiverse and then throw it on the printer and keep doing other things and then screw it to the bench when it's done, well, that's just great. That's what I love about the 3D printing. Now, sure, I could do something like that out of wood, drill the holes, mount it a lot quicker, probably a PVC pipe, drill some holes. But this, the printer went and did the work while I did other stuff, and it's really held up. It's very, very useful. And finally, let's talk about this Protopasta HTPLA High 5 Metallic Blue Filament. It was inspired by Joel Telling, the 3D printing nerd. Joel's a good friend of mine. We talk all the time. And I bought this. I didn't ask for a freebie, but I wanted to try it out. I've used a lot of the HTPLA from Protopasta, and it just prints fantastic. I really love it. Now, it's not the cheapest filament. I mean, this is a 500 gram spool, not a one kilogram. And it's 29, it's just under 30 bucks. So figure 60 bucks for a one kilogram. So I don't use my HTPLA for simple stuff. Typically, I use it for stuff I really needed to come out good. But this metallic blue is incredible. But I want to do something fun to show it. And I have this. It is the bust of Joel from a full-size standing scan that he did and he shared it with his Patreon supporters. It's only available to his Patreon supporters, which I am, and he supports me as well. And I got permission from Joel to do this. And what I did is I added that hairy lion effect to the top of it. In fact, I printed it bigger and here it is with the hairy lion effect where it prints in strings with the idea that Joel is always fluffing up his hair there so I thought why not take the print modify it and make it so you can fluff up the hair any way you want it you can use a hot air gun or just it works pretty good just for your fingers and you can make Joel's hair pop up any way you like so this was fun now I can't share this file but I did get permission from Joel to share it with my Patreon supporters. Just the bust here with the, the hair effect. So if you're a Patreon supporter, you'll be able to print this out yourself. And, and if you want the full body and do what you want to do with it, sign up for Joel's Patreon and you can get this. So this was a lot of fun. And this print came out awesome on my Prusa MK2S. This was printed at a 0.2 layer height. And it just is fantastic. I just love printing detail on that printer and this material this high five HTPLA just prints so well even spots here under his chin or under his hand I mean it's a little bit rougher because I didn't use supports I really should have used supports there but it printed so well it's just a little bit rough I could sand that smoother and other than that this is like a perfect print and the, the hair just it just comes out perfect um, I don't know. This is great. This is a fun print. And if you want to try it, I'll have it on Patreon for all my Patreon supporters. And Joel will have the full scan on his. So overall, would I recommend this Protopasta HTPLA? Yes. I have yet to find any color in the HTPLA that doesn't print good. Just know you're, you know, it's not cheap, but it's definitely worth the money. And having it in blue like this for Joel, maybe they should do something for, uh, my channel. I think I'll ask him about that. And now back to the giveaway of these, which is probably what you fast forward through everything just to get to this point, right? So Mark at Peel Poly gave me 20 of these to give away. Actually, he's got 20 to ship out and I get to choose however I want to give them. So here's what's going to happen. 10 of these are going to go randomly to my Patreon supporters. You don't have to do nothing. I'm just going to do a random drawing and that'll happen. Now, anyone including my patreon supporters can enter in to win one of the other 10 just by commenting on this video now you must be a subscriber because i'm going to randomly draw from those comments 
and then the winners that I choose I'm gonna check if they're not a subscriber I'm gonna go back and draw another one so you got to be a subscriber and leave a comment so that's how you can potentially win one of these from Teal Poly one more thing on Saturday July 29th I'll be at the Detroit Maker Fair at the see me CNC booth so stop by and say hi so that's it for this week. If you like what I'm doing here, check out some of these videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon really helps. But if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. That's it. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.